Hello, and welcome to Uncle John John Reads. A little bit scary, a little bit spooky bedtime stories. Tonight, we are going to read Aunt Friendly's Nursery Picture Book. The cover of this book is all in blue and gold, and it shows a very well-dressed walking frog in a dark, dark forest, and he has a friend with him to keep him company keep him safe so he is not so afraid of walking in the dark, dark forest. And it is a goose. A goose that is made of light. Have you ever seen a goose? Are gooses bigger than a chicken? Are gooses bigger than a, uh, an eagle? Are gooses bigger than an airplane? Well, this this goose is pretty big. It's big enough to be the frog's friend. Is walking in a dark forest. So the story begins on a lake, and there's two swans. Two beautiful swans. And the swans, uh, one swan is looking down through the water and notices, oh, there's a ghost. There's a ghost in the lake under me. Oh no. Spooky, spooky. But his friends, they laugh at him. They laugh at him and they say, no, you silly goose. That's a bird joke. <laughs> anyway, his friends say, no, man, it's not a ghost. It's your reflection. Because the, the water is a little bit kind of like a mirror. And if you look in the water, you can see your reflection just like in a mirror. And, uh, and the other swan was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. Oh, boy, I feel silly. I feel silly now. Oh, man. But away into, into the lake where the swans were resting on the far, far side, there were big, dark rocks. And the clouds were coming, and the moon was rising. Ooh, ooh. Kind of spooky, don't you think? I think it's spooky. Uh, so, um, actually, it's not really spooky. It's just, you know, when it gets dark and, and it's cloudy, um, everything kind of seems like it's black and white. Like an, like an old, old-timey movie. So, it's not really spooky. It's just, you know, the weather and everything. So don't let it be spooky. In fact, in fact, on this rock, on this rock, is a beautiful castle on the lake. It's a beautiful castle. And I said a beautiful castle, but actually it's not a beautiful castle. It's an old castle. And it's falling apart and, and nobody is taking care of it. And like some of the windows are broken. And on, on the wall, it's got walls, it's got cracks and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know. I think maybe it's almost winter time because all the leaves have fallen off of the trees. And, and it's kind of like snow, but not really snowing yet. Because um, there's still some green grass. But there's a lake around this castle, and it seems kind of sad and lonely. But it's also kind of spooky too. I bet at night it's kind of scary to go to sleep. 
But you know what? It's really not. And do you know why? how I know? Because inside lived a very, very rich man. And he was so rich that he liked to wear old tiny clothes from like the old, old days. Um, and they were all made of gold and silk and all sorts of things. And he had lots and lots of books. I don't know why my bedtime stories always have lots and lots of books. But anyway, in this, in this picture that I'm looking at when I'm telling you my bedtime story, there's lots of books, and this 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 uh, very very rich man. He's also got like a cool like hat on his head, and he's got like a he's got a pen. He's got a pen, but it's made out of a feather, so it looks like it's an arrow. That's kind of that's kind of cool. Anyway, he's counting all his gold coins because he's so rich. He's rich like um, Elon Musk and Warren Buffett and. Um, John D. Rockefeller and Lady Gaga is probably pretty rich and um, uh, um, Dolly and Madison Cupcakes they're pretty rich too but they're not rich in money they're rich in sugar and fat and things like that so they're not really good they should be eating Dolly Madison's um, cupcakes it's not really good but anyway this, this, this rich guy he looks like he eats a lot of Dolly and Madison Cupcakes because he's kind of fat. And also he has really, really long hair, but it's like really curled because he takes care of it. You know, he's, you know, and he lets it grow out long because he wants to look like that guy on Led Zeppelin. I don't know his name, but he has like really long curly hair. It's kind of cool. Um, I wish I could grow long hair. Actually, I really need a haircut. My hair is like really, really crazy right now. I need a haircut. Um, even though I also shave my head too. I shave my head, but I also like, Need, really need a haircut like really really bad but I'm probably not going to get a haircut for like another year so boy this is going to be interesting anyway my haircut is born so I'm not going to tell you about that in my story but so so this this rich guy is counting all his money but he's kind of getting hungry so what does he do is he sits down with his with his buddies who also have like dope rock rock star hair too and he's sitting down and he's eating a pie. He's eating a pie. But because he's so cool and he likes the birds, he likes, you know, there's the swans and then there's this goose kind of wandering around with the frog dude out in the forest. So he's, he's also, um, uh, he has a pie made out of little, little black birds, blackbird pie. Um, and I bet you know what these birds are? I bet they're magpies. So it's a magpie pie. <laughs> that's, that's so dumb. Uh, that's not, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, the little magpies, but you know what, you know, he's just, be, he's just being a goof. He's not going to eat them. He's not going to eat them. Nobody eats magpies. Because they're not real. The magpies is the name of the bird. They're not really pies. Pies don't fly. You know, that's weird. No, no, no. He's not going to eat them. But he is going to have like an apple pie. Or like a chicken pot pie. Ooh. So he could have a bird. He could have a bird pie. Chicken. Chickens are birds. You know, people eat people eat chicken. So it's probably chicken pot pie. You know, and you know why it's called chicken pot pie? Because the chickens they're real high. That's a hippie joke. Anyway, um, so what about what? So who, who else is eating with the, with this rich dude? Oh, it's the it's the rich guys. Uh, girlfriend Ooh, she's very pretty she even has like rock and roll hair up on her head and she's blonde she's blonde just like the, the rich dude you know I don't know what it is with rich dudes that they, they like to have uh, pretty blonde girlfriends and she's got a cool hat on her head too and it's also got feathers too just like the like the rich guy likes to have feathers around so she likes she I guess she likes the same things that he likes and she likes to wear old tiny clothes just like him and here's the thing she she 
is uh, sitting down and, and eating a cake or cookies with honey. So she's like dipping in her cookie with, with honey. And I think that's really cool. That sounds really delicious. But obviously she's also really, really rich too. So the, the, so the guy's really rich and his girlfriend's really rich. Everybody in this story is really, really rich except Uncle John John. Now would be a good time for you to, you know, like or subscribe the YouTube channel. Or if you watch the live stream on Twitch, you can send me some some bits or some donations. Or uh, hit my, my, my coffee link. That would be really, really helpful. So I can have cookies with honey. And soon I'm going to have a Patreon page. Anyway, more information about that later. Anyway, let's continue the story. What happens to... What, what, what do the, the rich dude and his buddies and this girl, what do they do next? Um, well, oh, well, so one thing is, you know, this is supposed to be a spooky story. It's a how it's Halloween, you know? So it's supposed to be a spooky story. And, and look at this, this is spooky food. You know, instead of cookies with honey, they could be eating spooky treats like this spooky marshmallow ghost on a Reese's peanut butter cup. And then behind them are spooky jack-o'-lanterns made of some kind of candy. They look kind of delicious. They don't look scary. They look delicious. Mm, nom nom nom. They look really good. I don't think that they are. I don't think that they're really spooky. And you know what's even more delicious than than uh, spooky treats that are not scary but really delicious? Is is going to sleep. Is going to sleep. That's really, really, really good. Good idea. If you're on a, on a rundown castle in the middle of a, a rock in the middle of a lake and you're like a rich dude or you're a rich lady and you have a rich girlfriend or a rich boyfriend or whatever and you're eating spooky treats it's time for you to lie down and go to sleep so are your eyes getting sleepy are your eyes closing are you closing your eyes now your, your eyes are closing yeah So anyway, the, the rich guy's girl decides, oh, I'm going to go out and uh, I'm going to make a uh, uh, ghost costume. I'm going to make a ghost costume out of bed sheets. Yeah, because she could buy, she could buy ghost costumes on Amazon, but right now, Amazon deliveries take a really long time. And also, uh, U.S. mail is kind of in trouble right now. So maybe, maybe she's worried that she won't get ghost costumes, you know, before Halloween. So she's gonna, she's gonna borrow the rich dude's bed sheets. She's gonna take them outside under the trees, but not by, not by the lake, because that that would be dirty. She can take them outside. She can, she can see the lake. She can see the lake. It's so very calm, very relaxing. Very relaxing, I think. And she's gonna hang them outside, and she's gonna, and she's gonna maybe draw some eyes on them, and maybe cut them to make them look more, more like spirit costume or something like that. That's what she's doing. She's been, but she's, cause she's really, really into old timey clothes. She's wearing old timey clothes again to go outside. That's pretty cool. But what do I see in the sky? What's that in the sky? Oh, I think it's spooky birds, spooky blackbirds. Are they, are they, uh, uh, uh magpies? <laughs> so it's an old joke from before. Remember when the old guy was eating and he cut open the pie and inside is, it was birds, but they, but what kind of birds is they were, anyway, that was, that was, the joke's not funny if I try to explain it. You just have to. Uh, I thought it was, it was, fine. It was funny. Anyway, so, um, so the birds. Oh, look at those birds. Um, there seems to be a lot of those birds, and they seem to be kind of angry. Why are they angry? And uh, are they? Maybe they're scared of ghosts. Right? Maybe they're scared. They're scared of ghosts, and, and they don't want this this rich lady to be making ghost costumes. So, 
Don't do that. Also, what if, what if maybe they, they support, you know, a, 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 a consumer, consumer economy? And they're saying, no, don't, don't try to make a costume. You have to buy from Amazon. Support Amazon and support, you know, the U.S. Postal Service or any sort of postal service that will deliver your Amazon ghost costume that was made, you know, in China or, or Taiwan or maybe, maybe India. Do they make ghost costumes in India? Yeah, they probably do. They probably do. But they don't make them in America. America doesn't make anything anymore. So, um, so why are they mad? Oh, the, the birds. So what happens to the birds? What do they do? Oh, um, they attack, they attack the, the poor, the poor, no, she's, I don't mean poor lady, because she's not poor, she's actually really rich, but I mean poor, poor in the sense of, oh, this is not good for her, right? So it's kind of poor luck, poor luck is what I mean. So she's rich, but poor luck, yeah, that's not good. Um, so they're attacking, and one bird, one bird pinches her nose. Ooh, ooh that doesn't sound good. Oh no, oh no. So, so that must hurt. So, um, what does she do next? Oh, she has, oh, it's got, oh, it must, it really hurts. So she goes back inside and, uh, and one of the rich dude's bodies also has like a really cool, like Beethoven hair or something from like the old time. He's also wearing like a really old timey clothes. Oh, all of these people are so cool. They live in an old, run down old castle that's falling apart and they wear old people's clothes. They, they must be really cool. They look like rock and roll stars. Anyway, I'm kind of getting away from the story. So one of the one of the dudes um, is actually like a, a like an EMT, I guess, and he's kind of he's stitching up the cut on her nose with the bird to bit her nose. Ooh, that must have hurt really bad. So he's 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 sewing it up, you know, so that it doesn't like anything bad doesn't really happen to it. Um, that's really. That's too bad. That's too bad. But well, I hope that she goes to um, like a clinic afterwards and gets some like antiseptic ointment. I hope she gets antiseptic ointment when when you have a have a, a, a an, um, when you're hurt and you have an owie or, or a, like a, I used to call him a boo boo, but if I was a ghost, I'd call it a a, a boo boo. <laughs> That's a that's a Halloween joke, because ghosts they go boo, and if you have a, 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 a if you're hurt, you have a boo boo. So ghosts would say if they are hurt, they'd have a boo boo instead of a boo boo. Um, anyway, uh, Man, you don't think that joke is funny? You're probably really cranky. And you know why you're cranky? Probably because you're sleepy. If you're sleepy, you should be. You should be like, like this lady with the sore nose, and and the dude who's an EMT, and uh, and their buddy, and 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 her boyfriend who's rich. Uh, what do they do next? Oh. They go back to their house, except it's not the house on the lake, because, you know, actually, I, I forgot my picture, so I, I have to find another picture somewhere. So it's a it's a spooky house at the end of a long, long road. Ooh, but it's also falling down, and so they're gonna go there. They're gonna go there. And, and she's gonna lie down because of her, of her boo-oo. <laughs> her boo-oo, get it? Because um, she was making a ghost costume. Anyway, I, I already told the joke, so I'm not gonna tell you again. Anyway, so so there, there she's gonna lie down. And, uh, and the old guy's probably, you know, it's getting really late at night. So the, so the old guy's probably gonna lie down too. And, and, and the rich guy's probably gonna lay down. And they're all gonna go to sleep. And I hope, and I hope by the time you get to this part of the story, you're asleep too. Are you asleep? Ooh. 
Wow. Now, I'm going to tell you something about this spooky house at the end of this road. Actually, it's not a spooky house. It's just an old house. Nobody lives there anymore. So don't be scared. It's not spooky. Don't worry. It's fine. So I want you to go to sleep. And if you're already asleep, I hope your your brothers or your sisters are also asleep. Yeah. And if they're asleep, how about your mom? Is your mom getting sleepy? How about your dad? Is your dad getting sleepy? I hope so. I hope they're getting sleepy too. And I hope they dream of, of magpie pies and chicken pot pie and, and uh, Led Zeppelin and, uh, and uh, a, a house uh, in the middle of a lake but it's kind of a cool house, even though it's kind of run down. And anyway, that'd be kind of awesome. But also maybe not so awesome if it's too run down, you know. So, with that, I'm going to say to you, good night and have good dreams of mud pies. So, this is the end of my story. Good night.